Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Nourish Couture TV. Yes, this thumbnail and title seems really brutal, but I feel like at this point with YouTube, I feel like we need to be honest, okay? That is what it is. Truth hurts. I have to throw this in here. Oh my God, I didn't do it in the beginning. We're at the end. This is my Chanel mirror giveaway. So what you have to do is subscribe to my channel, this channel right below. Like this video and leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram. Comment on anything there. I will find you and you can win a Chanel double facets mirror from me to you. I'm giving these away. This video is called I Might Hate It. A little dramatic, a little over the top because I mean, what are we hating? That's kind of absolutely ridiculous. But there are points we're playing, we're just sort of, you know, suggesting there's points to these different handbags that are annoying me, <laughs> giving me a bit of an itch. I'm gonna stick to handbags. Perfect timing to start with number one. I was moving my background around, thinking like what I would put up for the thumbnail and whatever, and then I was just like moving all of here around and there around, and this guy fell out. This is the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette. It currently retails in Australian dollars for $4,100. That roughly converts to 2680 US dollars plus tax. For this situation of pochettes connected to each other. It is still offered in this monogram canvas with this khaki strap, which is the dark green strap, the webbing strap. It's still offered in the monogram canvas with the pink or rose class webbing strap. So the khaki or the pink, they're your options. It doesn't come with both straps, you choose one or the other. Yes, we can see it is a lot going on. It's giving that very utilitarian vibe, very uh, camping, hiking, military, got everything on at the same time. It is not an elegant situation by any means. This, when I was talking about, uh, in another video, I was talking about strap game. When was that? Oh, that was in the, uh, the mini bum bag. This is actually, I said cousins, but I think this is actually the time where Louis Vuitton started going strap, chain, detachable, crazy. It has completely overtaken them to the point of mark, I've, I'm gonna be honest and say mark up base. So they are adding all these bells and whistles to be able to mark these bags up because, there's a because, this is canvas. What is canvas? It is a man-made material that is, it's not leather, and then this is coated canvas in plastic. So it, it is a poly plastic and it is coating the canvas. It is not leather, it is not a leather bag, I feel like they've realized, you know, people will always buy the brand. Don't, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. They will always buy the brand. However, how can we mark it up? How can we have these price increases and make it be okay? Bells and whistles. Just keep adding stuff to it, guys. Just keep designing with as more, uh, many straps that can detach, turn into a buckle, turn into a seat belt, raise your child, you know, help you do the gardening. It's, there's a lot going on. Why I might hate it. We're using the word might. I'm not saying I'm hating it. I'm not saying I'm parting with it and I'm gonna sell it. I'm just saying, truth be told, I might not like it anymore. It just might not be getting any use. It is sitting on the shelf and I'm not fond of it. That sounds crazy being that we own these bags and we don't use them, but can't let go of them. So this bag now retails for 4,100. I don't even know what I paid when I first picked it up. I picked this baby up, I feel like when it first released, it was this crazy, oh my God, there's so many pochettes strapped to each other and they're all detachable. It was like this thing that we could take them all off. That's my first Point. Let me show you it here. <laughs> let me pause and then let me do this to explain it to you. This 
is this strap. Okay, as I said, khaki, rose clair, and very utilitarian. We've got the big buckles, we've got the separate D ring on the side here, so that you can, um, sorry, we have the webbing logoing, which is happening a lot, obviously, with the Speedy 20 and their webbing strap. But this D ring is so this circular coin pouch can attach with its clasp to the D-ring, okay? It is a coin purse, exactly like the round coin purse. And what I'm gonna say at the end will make sense. However, I am not suggesting that everybody has these items, but I just wanna make a point. This is the large pouch which is the exact same size as the pochette, pochette sorry, accessories, the original design. I, what they have now, I'm not quite sure it's the, the new Neo pochette, I'm not quite sure. It's not the older style with the clasp and then it threads through on the other side. That is exactly this. Okay, there we go, number three. Number four, the smaller pochette that clasps on with its clasps to the D-rings to the big one. Same size, if not a little bit longer than a mini poche. So then, lastly, this chain. This simple chain that has two uh, rings on the end of it. There's no clasps, they're just two rings because you're attaching them to the clasps inside, if that makes sense. There's you can just see it right there. There's no clasp. You're attaching it inside. So, kind of like the Felici chain, right? Or any other, uh, other separate chain from Louis Vuitton you might have. So, already a separate item. Already a separate item. Already a separate item. Already a separate item. And straps you can buy as separate items. Now I am not saying by any means that, oh, I have all these items separately, you know, I don't use this because I have them separately. What I'm trying to say is you're not only tripling up, doubling up, and that's not what I mean. I know we've got repeat situations happening everywhere. That's not what I mean. I'm not trying to say because I have a round coin purse, I don't use the multi-pochette bat. What I'm trying to say is because they are individual items, I guess in a format kind of way, they all work beautifully on their own. Does that make sense? And the fact that the redesign in this situation is by putting them all together. I'm not going to say it's messy. It obviously works. It has a real casual kind of run around vibe and that's what I use it for. However, it's one of those things where it makes you think twice. That's exactly what it is. It makes you think twice. And then my final point is that yes, it is four thousand dollars now. Point. That is my that is my final point. Please let me know what you think of the multi pochette below. Are we loving? Are we hating? What are we doing? Because I might hate it. Okay, that perfectly segues into my next bag because they can just swap spot. What? What? I mentioned this in another video that I did have to go over it with you guys. This is the Louis Vuitton Bum Bag MM in all over monogram. In Australia, it retails for... Da, 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 da. I am currently not sure because it has been taken off the website. Ding! I have heard via the sources that it has been taken down. I'm not sure, check if it's off your website. You can leave me a comment below if it's off your website. I heard that it wasn't showing on the UK website, I'm not quite sure, but it is not on the Australian website. And the last time this happened with a design change was because of that mini Palm Springs backpack. And that's exactly what I'm gonna tell you 
why I might hate it. Everything else about it, I adore. I love using this bag. It is really easy to use, user-friendly as a mum, sling it over your shoulder, crossbody it, throw it to the back of you, whatever. But like the mini palm springs, it has a return lip that is covering the zipper. Oh my gosh, I hope they are back in Design Factory. I hope they are redoing this like the Palm Springs. Let me get it and show you. Okay, so this is the Palm Springs in monogram. It's return lips, so as you can see here, if I put my nail underneath that, that is actually a lip of folded canvas, which you can see. Originally, the original design, the first one I had, the lip covered the zipper. Hello. Louis Vuitton listened, went back into the design warehouse, stopped production, redesigned it, restarted production. They listened to their con customers' concerns and the lip of the zipper, uh, sorry, the lip of the canvas started rubbing so badly on the canvas, it was creating wear and cracking and horrible. This, the zipper doesn't rub on it, you just can't get to the zipper. It is so difficult to get to. You're in the shops, look, you're in the shops, you're buckling your bag. The whole day I have to have this canvas lip flipped up like so. I have to have it like that. And that's, that's not how it was designed. That's not the zhuzh. That's not what it's meant to look like at all. But that's the only way for it to function. That's why I might hate it. But if they come back with this as a new design, stepped back, hopefully they either tuck the lip, which is what they could do, they could tuck and fold the lip so it's just like, a, like an edge, like a rim like that, and it's not even covering the zipper, or maybe they could make a smaller lip. I, oof, I, I tell you what, <laughs> this is going in a vlog sale because Oh wow, what it did to change your life to take this back and damage, like it makes the side of all of the folded canvas stick up, the stitching, and I use this bag. It is by no means battered, it is by no means in, in a bad condition, but I have to flip it up to use it. Next up, this guy. This is the Chanel Classic GST size in black caviar with gold hardware. The most iconic, beautiful, eye-catching handbag, like classic, classic, classic in your collection. If you're going to have flat bags, if you're going to have a jumbo, if you're going to have a, you know, rectangular mini, you have this as well and you keep it and you use it. This handbag has been with me since maybe a beach house? I'm not quite sure. My gosh, a long time. User friendly, 100%. How much did I pay for it? Back then, I'm not quite sure. Fashion file, and I wanna, I wanna say maybe a thousand US dollars, 900 US, something crazy. Especially to you now, Chanel, hi. Ridiculous prices. Why I might, might hate this bag. However, Jillian says, my mom says she can fix it. She says that. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna have to send it off to leather surgeons. Everything is perfect, absolutely perfect about it. Inside, amazing, everything is immaculate. These straps, there you go, perfect example. These chain straps with the shoulder brakes on the top twist and turn and flip around the shoulder brake flips, it can flip like three times, so therefore the actual threaded leather chain, as you can see there, it twists, so you can see that there, it flips around on itself, the actual rings on the bottom, they flip around, it all gets completely twisted to the point of ridiculous aggravation. And if you're anything like me, and you medically suffer from compulsive disorder, 
I can't stand the fact that they are not weaved and sitting straight. So mum said she can have a look at it and she's going to try and unweave it because I don't have the patience to sit there. Trust me, I don't have the patience to sit there and do it. Uh, yes, I used to hand bead my garments. I would, I would sit and ha I did a wedding dress and I hand beaded the whole top pieces with this amazing ornate flower. You ask me to do it now? I'm gonna tell you to sit down. So to unravel this, like, no, it's not happening. So if mom can't do it, I'm gonna have to send it to leather surgeons because it's so frustrating. I can't even express how frustrating. I've heard it before. I have heard it before on YouTube, but I might hate it. That's <laughs> so cute. The micro is just sitting there in my shelf like, we am all alone. Can you believe this? Can, did you even, did you freak out when you saw the thumbnail? You're just like, what? What? Miss Pochette Matisse? All she can't, craps on about is a Pochette Matisse. This is a Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in all over monogram classic and in reverse monogram and classic monogram with the black leather trim. What's wrong with your face? What, did daddy kiss you? Yes. Did he? Yes. Are you saying hi to everybody? Hi. Do you want to show them how red your face is? Did you tell them no. that you went to school today? What? Pardon? Pardon? That you went to school today. Why are we looking that way? Look in there, that's where everyone is. Up there. <laughs> Okay, you just look at yourself then, girl. You just look at yourself. Can you go to daddy while I finish this video for YouTube? Oh my God, your daddy gave you pash rash. I'm gonna... This bag currently retails in Australia for $4,100. Now see, something like that price-wise with Vuitton is crazy to me because this is a bag. Yes, it's canvas, but this is a real bag. You are getting a bag, girl. It is not like a multi-pochette. I forgot where I put it back. It is not like a nano speedy in denim. This is a bag, okay? You, it's, it's mini luggage is essentially what it is. You're getting everything and more. When I got this one back, I have sold it three times and got it back. When I got this one back, I was freaking out and wanted this back. Have I ever wanted it in Armprant? No. The reason I might hate it, well, I, I can't really talk about this one because I've used it a handful of times. I reach for this like every day. The reason I might hate it is that no matter how many design changes they've been through, no matter how many times they've readjusted this lock, it is still the most fiddly, fussy access to a bag. And no, it's got nothing to do with my nails. You can sit down. I have now made merch. I told mom the other day, we've made merch. We've made merchandise that says, how do you do anything with those nails? In quotation. That's right. And I'm sending one of those t-shirts to you, Cassie Thorpe, because I bet you get that all the time, girl. She's the only other person <laughs> in this luxury community that has nails like this and everywhere here are like oh my god so i feel like there's been issues with this s log for a long time i think it went back into redesign and then they released it and everything but i still don't think it's ease of access in that way firstly Everyone says you've got to have something hard on this first pocket here so that you can shut it. When it's empty, it's really hard to shut. Like if you don't have something solid in the front. I do kind of agree with that. My biggest issue is that when it is shut, it jiggles, okay? I don't want jiggling. I, I don't want to hear anything. I just... <laughs> 
I don't, I don't, see, I don't want to hear anything. I want it to be solid, finished, done. I don't want to be like, not worrying that stuff's going to fall out. That's not the point. Just, I don't like the flimsy feeling. And then on top of that, if you don't kind, if you're in a rush and you don't pinch it properly, the actual popper, this little, this little marker that goes into the lock gets caught if you don't actually hit both buttons and use this right button which is my right your left which is the the button that actually has function if you don't hit it neatly this actual pin can get just hanging there and not properly open because of it having a pin the whole buckle gets scratched don't expect it to be not scratched with use that's just obviously going to happen they did once do like a plastic cover on it i think in one of the redesigns but either way it's back to this s-lock feature that's just i'm not gonna lie it's annoying me at the moment it, it might make me hate it oh no mum just took the gst as i just said to look at de-twisting two shoulder straps if it doesn't work, we will send it off to leather surgeons. Oh no, oh no, I don't, I don't want to hurt feelings out there. This is, this is me. This is me with Louis Vuitton and with YouTube and with the internet. This is not only one of my most searched videos in all of the versions of talking about the Speedy 25, this is the most responded to me of subbies. Sorry about my child. Subbies saying that they looked at this. It was so new at the time. It was so new. That ad campaign, I remember it had only just come out and I just jumped on it and means the world. So to put in a category of I might hate it, it sounds wild. But now after... So what is that, 10 years? It is now considered vintage. So 10 years is what's considered vintage. And naturally, vintage not only attracts mildew, so there's some mildew here, just resting. These rooms are all temperature controlled in this house, so it's not about that. It's not about rising mold or rising damp or any of those issues. It is just the natural attraction of these leathers, raw cowhide leather, as it patinas, as it darkens, it softens, it attracts mildew, things like that. Yes, you can spray and protect it. Yes, you can make sure, you know, you wipe it down with your dry cloths and things like that. Absolutely works. That's not the only thing I'm talking about. There's one thing with me, and I guess it's because of, you know, being hit in the head but there is one thing and it's smell it's odor i will buy anything vintage but i know now very much that it's gonna come with a vintage odor so how i feel about that even though this is bought new 10 to 12 years ago it's more than that right maybe it's 12 13 years more i'm not quite sure one of my first bags it is just going to have that vintage smell the zipper has the metallic smell it just has it that is naturally what happens to these kind of bags as they get 10 plus years old this is probably a little bit worse than the speedy mainly mainly because i guess of what's been in it there's no mildew or no anything on any of the clasps but the zipper i don't know if it's because it was used it's used more at the moment I'm, I'm picking it up a lot i can't explain it okay i don't have answers i might hate them all right evil that was a positive video wow way to come in <laughs> way to come in strong this isn't a tag video. I thought of making it a tag video. I don't feel like everyone's gonna be in this realm, 
but I feel like if you do want to do this sort of video it, it, it's an aggressive title but I suppose you could just be like things that irritate me or something let me know in the comments below but I definitely would love to see other youtubers just show what's irritating about a handbag that you know let's speak about it we're always like this is great this is amazing this is beautiful love 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 but it's like in retrospect you also still need to know there's little gritty itty bitty details so if you enjoyed that funny titled kind of video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so there is a button below I would super appreciate that guys I hope everybody is doing well take care Peace. <laughs>